Hello, everyone. My name is Ruo Fan Wu. Thank you for listening to the presentation of our work, Drew Efficient Vinograd CNN Inference with Deeper Use. This is a joint work of Renmin University of China, Alibaba Group, and North Carolina State University. This is the outline of our presentation. First, let's look at the background. Convolutional neural networks have shown successes and gained popularity in web systems. In industry, inferences of CNN are widely processed on CPUs. Due to high compute density, it faces a high demand for performance optimization. The key to improving the inference performance is to accelerate the convolutional layers of CNN models, which are computationally intensive and dominate the total execution time. Fortunately, Winograd convolution has been proved to be a very effective optimization for CNNs. By replacing the original convolutions with Winograd minimal filters, Winograd convolution can reduce the arithmetic complexity by at least 2.25 times, thus resulting in significant time and energy savings. We use a figure to show the workflow of the convolutional layer with Winograd algorithm. It has four steps, filter transformation, input transformation, element-wise multiplication, and output transformation. Furthermore, many efforts have been made to optimize the Winograd convolution. However, previous studies on Winograd convolution mainly focus on improving hardware efficiency, without considering optimizing the structure of the algorithm. Recently, we noticed that a novel technique called deep reuse. To compute the convolutional layer, the common practice is to unfold the inputs into matrices and then perform matrix multiplication. Deep reuse can detect the similarities among neural vectors in input matrix, cluster the similar vectors, and reuse the intermediate results of convolution. Therefore, it saves many computations on the fly. However, the current deep reuse technique targets only gem-based convolution. If we apply deep reuse to Winograd algorithm, the performance of CNN inference could be further significantly improved. In this section, we discuss the motivation of our work. First, for gem-based convolution, it has been proven that neural vectors in the input matrix have strong similarities. Comparing the neural vectors in gem-based convolution and the tail in Winograd-based convolution, they are both local neurons in feature maps. Therefore, there is a strong opportunity that similarities also exist among such small tiles in Winograd convolution. Second, to prove our assumption on tile similarities, we conduct a series of experimental analysis. We use a trained model of CIFAR9 on CIFAR10 and run its inference. We apply the clustering method LSH with different clustering granularities. The experimental results show that both single-channel tiles and multi-channel tiles have strong similarities. Therefore, we draw the conclusion that there is huge potential of performance improvement for applying deep reuse to Winograd convolution. Third, deep reuse has been proved to be a great success in accelerating the inference process. Meanwhile, Winograd convolution reduces the multiplication computations compared to the direct convolution. The great performance benefits make it deserve the effort to be further optimized. Applying deep reuse to Winograd convolution requires to handle the following three challenges. First, algorithm design. Winograd convolution involves fixed minimal filtering patterns. So there is no direct neural vector to extract in the Winograd algorithm. Consequently, an appropriate method needs to be designed for exploiting the similarities and saving computations. Second, introduced overhead. Deep reuse is an online process in which the similarity detection process among neural vectors happens during the inference time. Because of the computation savings in Winograd convolution, it poses a tighter constraint on the introduced overhead compared to the gem-based convolution. 
Third, cost-benefit trade-off. The limitations of minimal filtering patterns also prevent us from adjusting the reuse granularity as flexibly as original deep reuse does. Since deep reuse is a lossy optimization to provide the choice to trade off between performance and accuracy loss, a normal method to adjust reuse granularity needs to be designed. It has been shown that strong similarities exist among input tiles of each channel in Winograd convolution. It provides us the opportunity to save computations by reusing the computed result of a small number of tiles. We group the input tiles of each channel into clusters and compute the cluster sign choice. Then we perform input transformation, k-elementwise multiplications, and k-output transformation on the centroid tiles. Finally, we accumulate the corresponding centroid tiles of each input channel to produce output. This is an example for processing a 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 6 input with 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 filters. The filters have been transformed during the pre-processing time. First, after clustering, four input tiles are grouped into two clusters of each channel respectively. The four input tiles can be represented by the two cluster sign choice. Second, four central tiles of all channels are transformed in a way like the input transformation in the Winograd algorithm. Third, each transformed central tiles is element-wise multiplied by filters of two output channels. Fourth, the results of multiplication can transform in a way like the output transformation in the Winograd algorithm. Fifth, we accumulate the output along input channels and obtain all tiles in the final output from the computed central tiles. We develop Drew to solve the challenges listed in the previous section. First, we develop new algorithm to detect similarities in the complex filtering patterns of Winograd convolution. Second, to minimize the time overhead introduced by clustering, we choose a fast LSH as a clustering method. Furthermore, we design a new method to retrieve cluster centroids, which is more suitable for modern processors and can minimize the space overhead. The normal clustering designs can reduce online cost within a reasonable range. Third, we extend the algorithm to reuse tiles of multiple input channels, which allows users to tune the clustering granularities for the trade-off between accuracy and time savings. Then, we develop a fine-tuning process to maintain high accuracy. We compare our drill with the original Winograd convolution without deep reuse. We conduct experiments to measure the performance of drill on two experimental platforms. We evaluate drill with three different networks, the Night 5, Cipher Night, and VG16, which are classic and have been evaluated in many works. The dataset of Lenat 5 is minced, the dataset of Cipher Night is Cipher 10, and the dataset of VG16 is ImageNet. We explore the clustering granularity L, which represents the number of channels of tiles for clustering. In general, a smaller granularity leads to a smaller reuse cost accuracy loss. Meanwhile, a smaller L leads to more addition operations in output accumulation. We also explore different number of hash functions H. It influences the precision of clustering. A larger number of hard functions means a more fine-grained clustering. In general, more hard functions incur smaller reuse cost accuracy loss. Meanwhile, a larger edge causes a larger number of clusters and thus more computations. According to the computational complexity analysis of Joule, an appropriate combination of clustering granularity and the number of harsh functions can reduce the coefficient of Joule's complexity, thus resulting in more computation savings. We aim to achieve a balance between performance and accuracy. To measure the balance between performance improvement and accuracy loss, we define efficiency score. The higher value of E means that we obtain relatively higher performance with less accuracy loss. 
We first apply our approach to only a single convolutional layer to measure the single layer speedups. We report in the table the speedups achieved by the configuration that has the highest efficiency score on each convolutional layer. Our approach leads to significant performance benefits. Zhu achieves 6.68 times performance improvement on average compared to the Vinograd convolution without deep reuse. Even for the highly parallel Vinograd implementation, Zhu can still provide 1.11 times to 3.27 times performance improvement. Second, we apply our approach to the four neural networks with the optimal clustering configurations from the single layer experiment to measure the end to end speedups. We show our performance benefits on the end to end execution time of the four neural networks in the table. We involve all runtime overhead. On average, Drew achieves 5.92 times performance improvement. And for parallel implementation, Zhu still maintains 1.15 times to 2.76 times performance improvement. In our experiment, Zhu incurs an additional 0.26 to 1.23% accuracy loss if the model weights remain unchanged. Since accuracy is important in many applications, we have the following designs to remain the accuracy in an acceptable range. First, the network can be fine-tuned to amortize the accuracy loss. We retrain the model using Zhu. After fine-tuning, Zhu causes less than 0.4% accuracy loss on all networks. Note that fine-tuning as part of the training process does not lengthen the inference time, so the reported inference speed does still remain. Second, in our analysis, the first layer in CIFARNET and the first three layers in VGG16 cause a major accuracy loss. We can apply deep reuse in the other layers while remaining the front layers unchanged. Third, the balance between performance and accuracy loss can be adjusted to meet various application scenarios. The number of channels L and the number of hash function H can be adjusted by users. For example, in a rigid scenario, users could set a small L with a large H so that the accuracy loss shall be greatly minimized. We use the night five for uh, illustration. The figure shows that we can treat performance for accuracy in Zhu. Finally, we analyze the influence of different factors on performance, including the clustering granularity, the number of harsh functions, the batch size, and the number of threads. First, with a decreasing number of harsh functions, more computation is saved. Therefore, the performance increases along with the harsh size. Second, performance increases significantly as granularity becomes larger and the number of harsh functions become smaller. The reason is that when the number of harsh functions is small, the reusable potential is larger. At the same time, Large granularity results in fewer addition operations in the output accumulation, which causes discontinuous memory excesses. Third, the reusable potential becomes larger as the batch size increases, introducing more performance benefits. Fourth, Drew achieves significant performance benefits in all cases. The reason for increasing speed up with decreasing number of threads is that adding the number of threads increases the proportion of the extra overhead introduced by parallelism that cannot be amortized. In conclusion, this paper integrates deep reuse with Vinograd convolution and yields a library called Drew to enable efficiency and inference. The paper presents how deep reuse can be applied to Vinograd. It discusses the major challenges when applying deep reuse to Vinograd convolution and provides a set of solutions in applying our method. In evaluation, Drew provides 6.68 times performance improvement over the original Vinograd convolution with almost no accuracy loss. That's all for our presentation. Thank you.